Alright, I have returned. And the good news is that attempting to run uh, Pulumi Destroy uh, does not let us delete our video archive stack uh, bucket. Good thing. I definitely don't want to unprotect it. What I would like to do is I would like to destroy all the resources except for the bucket and then remove the stack. So I see there is a continue on error. So maybe this is it. Oh, no, no. Exclude protected. There we go. Do not destroy protected resources. Destroy all the other resources. Okay, cool. That's what I'm after. Uh, so I had been doing some things where I was, you know, got some of the stuff that we're going to be adding to the real project here. So AWS batch job definition and all, all this other stuff. Security groups and repository and all that. Well, we just want to delete all of that. Uh, should be interesting. Um, and then we can see we don't have an S3 bucket here. We're going to remove the bucket notification. We're going to remove all the AWS batch stuff and our uh, dead letter queue and all of those things. So let's go ahead and say yes. Uh, I will not be surprised that some of the things fail to delete, like maybe the Elastic Container Repository might fail to delete because it has images in it. That's often a thing that like, um, when you try to delete a, some, something that has things inside of it, that'll fail. So we'll see. I have to say, I don't think I've ever tried to delete uh, an ECR repository. So I'll see how that goes. And uh, in the meantime, let's get back to the other code. All right, so we can actually, actually like do this stuff. What's this error? Uh, main is not allowed to be async. Okay, good to know. Uh, so, how do we do this then? Lots of things I probably should read more about, but uh, here we are. We're already in it. Ah, this is what I'm missing. Tokyo Main. Yoink. Uh, oh, I see this kind of okay. I don't care. Turning unit tight. Unneeded. Yeah, we don't have to do that if we're just doing that. There we go. Okay. So now we are we're not being yelled at. <laughs> That's something. Uh, obviously, we have a bunch of things that we're not using here, which we will use. Um, so, struct config um, is not going to be bucket and key. This is going to be where we are storing, like, we need to know the name of the bucket where we are going to be storing the audio extraction results, the keyframes, and then the DynamoDB table uh, as well. I think what we can do, let's just do like out put bucket and um, how configurable do I want this to be? Hmm. 
like do I want to like have configurable prefixes for where the different results go? So like I could do keyframes prefix prefix. Like that audio prefix and uh then we can do that in my db table for where we put the the name of the table where we're putting the uh the metadata i think that makes sense this let's also make an input bucket and we're going to change the kind of the how we're treating the command line arguments so the first argument is going to be the key and the second argument is going to be the um i'm going to do that like ultimately this process is going to be triggered by the um object appearing in s3 so we're not going to have a ton of metadata. Just, let's let's keep it simple. Let's do that. And, um, okay, save all that. Okay. Then drive debug and let me let me go look at how we were doing config. Here we go. So we have the serialized debug clone. That's right, that's right. Yeah, of course we don't have, we don't know about deserialize here. So we'll add that. Uh, we don't have that in our dependency, so we'll add that as well. Uh, I suspect that's not the version we want. Uh, you know, there used to be a preview of available versions. Why that went away, but. Oh, it is one out. Okay. Fine, fine. Then. Make a, a load config function here. Config, result config, figment error, figment new, merge. I think, and Brainless says something. All right, day 10, two fog incarnations, one torch snuffer, but uh, going good. All right, all right. Figment. And then type config is more private. Yeah, this doesn't need to be public. Okay. And then time for lunch. Yes. Why would you have to bring up lunch? I need to, I need to do this. I, I'm not I, I really don't want to cut the stream short. Uh we need that. we need to get a thing going here. <laughs> no worries. Um, I think, I think it's going to be fine though. If like, if, if we panic, um, when trying to load the config, like we don't need to, is this going to be a command line program? We're just going to fail out. Um, if something goes wrong. So using expect here should be fine. And then, so let's get the object from the bucket. This should be easy, right? We use S3 client. We pass it the name of the bucket. We pass it the key. And we try all the things and we get an object. No, byte stream does not have an expect. So what is body here? It's a byte stream. What is a byte stream? It is a thing. Oh, uh -huh. stream into async raid rt tokyo feature must be acted to use into async raid um it's gonna be interesting right because how are, how are we gonna do this right so we need we, 
I guess we just need to save the file out, right? Um, yeah, write the object to a temp file. So we'll do let uh, sure. That could be fine. Uh, it's not going to be MP4 file. So let's just not, I, I wonder how FFmpeg would handle it if we didn't provide an extension at all. <laughs> let's do that. Uh, and then uh, scdfs write temp file object. Is that, is that compatible? No, primitives byte stream can't be converted. Uh, let's see. So we have, we could do into or try into. Into. How do you feel about that? You have something that's compatible? Uh, consider specifying the generic arguments. Okay. Maybe. So it takes P and C as generic arguments, one for the path and one for the contents. Um, let's go find the docs for the S3 client and see, they probably have an example here, right? Uh, okay, SDK for Rust. Ooh, code examples for S3. List objects, object content, body. Okay, it's going the other way. How about downloading? Send. Okay, nope. Um, bu, 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 bu. How about get object? Okay. Ooh. Uh, okay, so. Object body try next await. Okay, so we're just reading bytes and writing bytes to the file. What are we doing with byte count? Oh, we're, we're keeping track of how many bytes we, we've copied out. I don't care about that. Uh, so we can do this. feel about that so we already have body I guess I can get rid of this for consistency sake um, we don't return a result if we move this to a separate function that does that work uh, Tokyo FS files that have a, a write all How do you feel about right I don't have that either what methods do you have okay you have you do well it has something that's like write all um, Oh, right, we need to import this. Can do that. Okay. Okay, object body try next await gets a result of option or error. Do this. Uh, 
Yes. Bites of resolve. That's not what we want. That's. Okay, so let's make a function. Call it. Um... save s3 object to file uh yeah something like that and then path is a uh yeah s3 path path buff yeah like that and then paste that uh this needs to be async the wrong type. We'll, we'll come back to defining the type in a second. Not too many commas. Yeah, what's the problem? Uh, ba -ba -ba, why would I wait? Unit type. Expect it. Oh, I see. We just need to, we just need to be okay. Okay, and the temp file is actually half. Um, the size for values to type array of U8 cannot be known at compilation time. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm confused. What is what is this supposed to be doing? It's all wrong. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, this came from here, but this doesn't belong inside of the loop. We need to create the temporary file from the path provided. There we go. Now, try next. All right, we don't, we're, we're not defining what object is here. So this is um, get object output. Import that from uh, SDK. Okay, and okay, the trick bound result something string is not satisfied because Ugh. um. Okay, so we could, but we can call into right. That make you happy? Look, just I don't care what the error is. Okay, there we go. Cannot borrow object body as mutable as object is not declared as mutable. Okay, cool. Uh, how do we how do we do that? Do it this way. Is it is it gonna stop yelling at me? Yes. All right. So now, <laughs> save S3 object to file. Yay! All right, we did it. Um, maybe a bit less hassle if you were trying to do that with Bodo in Python, but. Okay, so well, what I claimed I want to do here is in parallel, I want to do the audio extraction. I want to extract the keyframes and I want to use the FFM probe or FF probe. Anyway, uh, how do we how do we do things in parallel? 
like that in, with Tokyo. Hello, Tokyo. Um, what if I want to do multiple things at the same time, like synchronous? Like in TypeScript or JavaScript, you know, you just promise that all. <laughs> Create promises uh, to be spawned things. Concurrency. Yeah. So a loop. Spawn things. We do want to wait for all of the spawned things to finish. Okay, so here's where we spawn something. We have a handle. Maybe we just call spawn multiple times for each thing, right? So we like say, let audio task be Tokyo spawn. Uh, we call our audio extraction uh, with our temp file that we just saved out. Actually, let's let's clear something up. Uh, temp file path. There we go. Uh, yeah, 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 sorry. Let's confuse for a second. These are these are separate lines. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I like I like this, except I want it to be like audio extraction task. Okay. And this is all wrong. We don't want to do all of these things together, we want to do them separately. Um, yeah, kind of not what I want to do. Uh, go and then audio extraction, yo. Does that work? I don't know. Let's, let's keep marching forward here. There you go. Then keyframes extraction task. Extract. String lossy. Why would we do that? That's just some made up stuff. Uh, and then, okay, so this is going to generate the uh paths so then we just want to return keyframes yeah and then we're done with this task and then we create another task uh let um metadata task and maybe we don't actually even need to return things from these right because each of these is gonna be responsible for storing the results back in S3. Like it would be different if we were doing tasks where the result would be joined back together and we would wanna upload. But I think these actually represent three distinct set of things that will have their own timeline of activities. And there's no joining activity at the end, maybe. Is that true? That might not be true. You know why? Because for the metadata task, I think we want to store, yeah, that's, I did say this before. We want to store the resulting paths where we're restoring the results back in DynamoDB as well. So for a metadata task, we're not going to create a, we're, this is not going to be concurrent. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm gathering the metadata will be concurrent. Yes. Storing the metadata will be at the end so 
we will have a thing at the end where we want to take all the results and bring them back together. Um, okay, so what I wanted here was 200 by negative one for a keyframe extraction. Uh, and then, yeah, let's just save this and see what errors we get. So we don't have FF probe. We do need to import that from GTFFmpeg FF probe. We don't have keyframes extraction, same deal. Um, don't get a, a helpful suggestion, but that's fine. Go back up here. Get all those things imported. And now what's wrong? So audio does not have a save to file method. Okay. Uh, so we'll need to figure out how to actually do that. Because we do need to save to that. Um, and probe is the name of the function there. And it's not two string. I don't know where it's getting this two, two string lossy thing. Um, found, let's see, to stir. How do you feel about that? Good? All right. Cool. That gets us to stir. Got. Um, I guess, let me take a closer look at this. So two string lossy, any non Unicode sequences are replaced with replacement character. Huh. And it returns a copy on right string. I don't think I want to do that. I mean, that works apparently, but um, I think I want to just call, I just want to do this, yeah? Um, audio track is not zero. Is it track one? I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> Uh, let's make a new helper function. Sync and uh, I mean, we, we might need to upload file to S3, but let's uh, save std to file. Uh, we need a file path. So we create a file at the location specified. Uh, we create a buffer. We read into the buffer from SCDIO. We await that. If we read nothing, we break and we write. That's almost believable, except SCDIO does not have a read. Um, there's a method read. That's fun. Do we need, do we need to import this into scope? I guess so. So SCDIO read, pull some bytes from this source into the specified buffer, returning how many bytes were read. Uh, if the return value of this method is okay. Uh, then it must be guaranteed that zero less than equal to n less than equal to bufflin. A non-zero n indicates the buffer has been filled with n bytes of data. If n is zero, and it can indicate one of two things, either we're into file or the buffer specified was zero bytes in length. We already know that the buffer length is not, uh, it's 1024. So the only case this can be is we've reached into file. So write all, uh, writes, uh, attempts to write an entire buffer into the writer, into this writer. This method will continuously call write until there's no more data left to be written. So it'll empty the buffer. 
start again. Okay, so I can believe that this will work. Uh, and so we'll go up here and... Oops. Press the key. Uh, we want to uh, save as a file uh, audio comma this that await that expect uh, expected child STD out found STDIO okay interesting get for STD huh. yeah so that should be the type there import that okay we can't read from STDIO because we we're not importing the right thing maybe oh, it doesn't satisfy uh, async read ext or async read. Do we need what can we do on STDIO? Me too. Is that blocking? Uh, Async read from us to the IO? That does not work. IO dot into. Can we convert it into something? We wouldn't we would need to know what we would need to convert it into though. Uh, see if I can get copilot to guess something. Yeah, but no. Nonsense. Nonsense. Um, okay. Let's, let's go back to what we had before. Child STD out, huh? It's interesting. Output stream for sponge children. This implements the async read trait. Can we, um, is that allowed? No, it doesn't like that. So if I were to leave this like this, this part's happy. Can I do dot into? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, there's not a way to convert STDIO to child STD out. There. Okay, so this read implementation. All of this stuff is on async read ext. Let <sighs> me go to let's go to implementations work. No. Um that takes us here. Go to references. There are many.
but how do we get to the point where I can lead from this thing that we are getting back? From where are we? Okay, so in audio extraction extract, we return a result of the STDIO. I see. So we, I see. So let's just change this. Right. So we just do, okay, that. The out is, oh, it is an option. So let's do want this. But instead of doing try into, we're just gonna return a CD out. That's gonna mean that our type here is wrong. It's gonna be a child std out uh, instead of yeah how do you feel about that mismatch types uh they're similar but they're not the same type right so the type here tokyo process std uh, child std out like that. And then it's telling us that, hey, we can use map or else. Um, is that equivalent? Audio extraction, STD out, map or else. Error fell to into STD out. Okay, STD out. Yeah, we can do that. Is that better? Still complaining. Redundant closure. Yes, indeed. Place it with okay. Now that has broken um, our existing code. Not dry into. Uh, sort of works, except. Yeah, it's a result. So. Hey, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, go away. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna redefine the audio here. So we have audio here, let's say audio, um, uh, we're gonna do match. Yes, match that. Okay, so we either get the audio. All right, we have to tell it. It's tell the type here. Uh, STD IO. We're, we're basically moving that bit of code from the utility function um, back into this handler because we need it here to massage it into an STDN so we can pipe it. But we're not piping it in um, the other use case, right? So here now, it is unhappy. But it's unhappy because of bigger issues than the more foundational things than the specifics. Okay, so in other words, like we get a child STD out from audio extraction extract, we can use that, we can pass that to save STDIO to file. So the error now is async block may outlive the current function, but it borrows temp file path, which is owned by the current function. So we need to either move um, temp file path or I guess we need to clone it. Do we need to take ownership here? Can we just do that? Uh, where else are we using temp file path? Just that one place. Can we can we clone this? That does not help. The force async block to take ownership of temp file path. Use the move keyword. 
Well, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Because we're going to use it in multiple places. We're using it in three places. Actually. Um... Why are we borrowing it? Okay, move occurs because temp file path has type path buff, which does not implement the copy trait. Consider changing this parameter type in function save s3 object to file to borrow instead if the if only the value isn't necessary. Okay. Um here. Let me just borrow. We just need to do that. Okay. Uh main RS line fifty eight. Uh, is this the same deal? Just need to or, borrow. If I just work from the bottom up. Uh, okay, so now we have a. I think that the number of errors is smaller. Uh, async block. Interesting. We don't get. I mean, we are using temp file path, in the other two, but okay. Uh, async block may outlive the current function, uh, but it borrows temp file path, which is owned by the current function. Async blocks are not executed immediately and must either take reference or ownership of outside variables they use. Okay, on line 67, it's borrowed. Correct. This clone not. Um, let me do let temp file path. That. Does that move where the complaint is to line 65? Yes. Okay. So it's a path buff. It has an interior OS string. Do we need a path buff? Like. These other places we, well, here I'm using a path buff. Maybe, maybe I should be more consistent and we can just do string slice. That still works. Same here. And that. Makes other things unhappy, but that's fine. Um, clone uh, str two str ah two two str unwrap uh then this gets simpler too. Onto your file path. Uh, to a CR unwrap uh, and then this complaints right file path what we can do here is we can also do dot to a CR unwrap and we don't need to do that here 
What else is broken? All the other things. All the other things are broken by that. Okay. And then this changes nothing. <laughs> uh, Tim File Path is borrowed here on line 66. Um, why? Can't return value referencing temporary value. So we need to like clone. Maybe that. So this is a string slice and we need to, wait, 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 isn't there, do that. Uh, temporary value dropped while borrowed, creates a temporary value, which is freed while still in use. Consider let binding to create a longer lived value. Oh, I see. So we create this thing. We get a string and wrap it. And so then the underlying thing goes away. Can we can we just clone and then it's happy? Why must you be so difficult? Uh, and then we have more complaints down here, right? Hey, now this error, let's move down here. Um, completely fine with that now does that uh can i just do this then oops i, I cut the wrong part can i just do this then yeah so that's fine okay cool 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 uh so this is complaining because temp file path is currently owned yada 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 yada, yada. um so temp file path here Um, what's the problem? What's actually the problem? Async block may outlive the current function, but it borrows uh, temp file path, which is owned by the current function. Async blocks are not executed. It's borrowed. I don't want to move it. Why? Why did that error go away for this one? something about I'm also going to change extract we don't need the path buff coming back um, let's let's do two SCR wrap into no not not into just that Okay, and then the type is wrong, of course, uh, because it'll be a vec of, uh, let's do string, strowing string, uh, unwrap, do string. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Now this is still unhappy. Maybe the types will be simpler. Okay. 
Well, uh, somehow it's been another hour. Uh, I gotta go get some lunch. <laughs> um, but, uh, okay. let's do this. Let's put a pin in this. I think I just need to figure out like how to make the borrow checker happy, which yeah can take a little time. Um, but let's also talk about kind of next steps for here, right? So we have, we have our infrastructure directory that we created at the beginning of the stream. We have a main.py, we have our S3 bucket. Um, next steps will be to transliterate the test code that we had. Oh, hey, look, uh, update failed. Hey, look, the ECR repository was not empty, so we couldn't delete it. Okay, so I'll have to go manually fix that. But, um, uh, 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 so, uh, in our test project from last stream, from last Sunday stream, um, we had started building kind of the things we need to have, um, AWS batch run when objects are populated in an S3 bucket. And I, I had made some progress there. So I think what I'll do is, um, See if I can find some time between this and next Sunday to transliterate our TypeScript version of our Pulumi code. That's the setting up uh, security groups, compute environments, job queue, roles, uh, container role, uh, and then creating the container properties and uh, such, and get this all converted into some Python for us. Um, yeah, and, uh, we can pick up next stream with, uh, actually seeing this working, hopefully, and talking about, you know, moving on behind, uh, this one task. There's a lot of other stuff we're going to do in AWS, so a whole list of things in the, in the workflowy. Um, so let's, uh, let's figure out who we're going to rate. 